plenty. And I'm going to do a direct pour today over a circle canvas using a kitchen strainer. I've mixed up most of my paints today already. I got a lot of them on sale. So um, I got some Nicole Studio uh, in metallic bronze. I have a paste version of uh, Palmer paints in metallic that I've mixed with the Nicole Studio Aqua. I have Cracker Barrel, Red Barn, or I mean Apple, Apple Barrel and Apple Barrel English Ivy mixed with the Pearl X powder. And I have Seaside, which is also a Nicole Studio paint. And we're just going to pour those in rings inside of our strainer. Now, when I was preparing my circle canvas, I like to put um, a little bit of spray on the back that's water so it tightens up your canvas. You do want to make sure your canvas is good and tight before you start, then you don't have any dips in the middle. You also want to use um, uh, something to make sure that you have a level canvas every time you're painting. Otherwise, you'll come back in the morning and you'll find all of your paint has shifted off to one side. I'm using a Lazy Susan that I found at the dollar store. Oh, no, actually, I found that at a secondhand store, so that's great. I also like to put masking tape on the back of my canvas. It keeps some of the drips off, and then I can peel it off later, and it, it just looks like a better product. I'm using a Flow Mix that is part Elmer's glue and part Floetrol. Janet. I mix it up in a bottle from the dollar store, and I like to have a couple of these mixed up per, ahead of time just so that I can um, not run out in the middle of a painting. So this is set up so that I can actually see what those are. I tried using tape, I tried using um, various kinds of markers, but they all either rub off or whatever. So that's why I have my little guide. We will try some other flow mixes in future videos, but that's what I have, I'm using today. When I use silicone, I have been using a silicone oil. There are many different kinds out there that you can use. A lot of people use treadmill. Um, sometimes people will use uh, the three-in-one. This one I like because it's a little thicker. The wa more watery ones you need a little bit more. This one I only put one or two drops. Now today I don't have silicone in any of my paint because I have metallics. Metallics tend to give you some cells anyway. Um, so I don't even care about having cells. I just want to try this Add particular. To the, back, to the back of this circle canvas, some pegs. Um, you will find that some people will like to use these little triangle things that you can get at any artist store. It's higher and it's up on this Lazy Susan. So these pegs work just perfectly because the pegs are fitting inside of my the lip of my lazy Susan here. So let us begin. So let's we're going to go ahead and try to find a center. And so we're going to start with my burnt red color here, barn red. And I'm just going to make a circle. And I'm going to just keep adding layers. Everybody hold your breath just for a second. We're going to lift this. 
slowly, just slowly, because you want to continue to come out the holes that are in the bottom. I am barely touching the paint underneath, and I just lifted it right above it, so you see it coming through the holes there? Hopefully that makes a nice little pattern in there as it's draining out. Try not to shake it too much. I don't know what the middle's going to be like. So I'm just going to bring that up. I'm going to paper towel because I don't have my gloves on. Lazy Susan, because I am not going to be using that anymore. Might as well leave that here. We got some paint on it already, right? Trying to um, stretch my paint toward the end, but not lose too much of the pattern, is what we're doing here. Because I really kind of like, see that when I got a little too close, I lost my pattern. But it'll be okay. Let's see what we can do with this. This is actually kind of cute. Now what you can do, you really want that um, pattern that I started out with. It's going to take a lot of paint, but you just can keep pouring and not do any of this stretching of those cells like I am or stretching of your print there we go oh my gosh that's beautiful what do you think that is cute Trying to get a bigger center there. Let me let it sit for a second. Trying to get some of my paint off. <laughs> oh, that looks good. All right, looks like that is good. I'm using a torch that is meant for your kitchen, but it does some great things. It has to, you want to pop your bubbles before they come up them, all by themselves and do weird things. Like I said, this is a mixture with no silicone. Now, if you use silicone, you should always prep your canvas with a layer of paint that has no canvas in it, whatever color you choose. The reason for that is the silicone will um, make holes almost down, all the way down to your canvas where it's rejecting the paint on whatever spot it's touching on your canvas. And so you will probably not get a desired effect then. All right, so let me, that's beautiful. And actually, I think I'm getting some more bubbles right there because the paint's a little thicker and, and actually I'm getting some cells here coming up even though I didn't intend to have them 
But I love this copper. Look at that copper coming up. Let me get uh, my hands cleaned off here and I'll pull you in close so you can see how beautiful that has turned out. So let me get you in close so you can see some of the beautiful colors that are coming up on here. Look at those patterns, how beautiful. All right, so we're gonna let it sit for a little while and see how many colors come up. And we'll give you show you the end product in just a minute. Well, hey everybody. As I said, um, I was going to come back later. And as you can see that one of my pegs had come off and it the painting flowed to the side it actually turned out very beautiful um i did catch some of the extra paint with a small canvas not sure what i'm going to do with that one yet but it will maybe hang in my home it looks kind of cool so thank you for spending time with me we're going to try to do another one of these on another video but thank you for your time and have a great day.